In this video, we are going to implement one very famous uh, LRU, means the least recently used. So let you first understand what is the requirement, then we can do that. So suppose if you have one cache, cache, okay, and and you have to put uh, some data in cache. Suppose one A. So what happen? This A is the key. And one is the key, A is the value, it came into the cache. Now another you put 2 and B. This also it came to B. Again you put new data 3 C anything. So it will come the 3 C. Now you tell me out of that which is the recent data. So of course, C is the recent data, right? Because immediate it came into the cache. So this is called the most recent data. And A was the very old in this cache. So that is called the least recent data, right? Now put another one more data in this for D. So do you come the for D. Now you tell me which is the most recent. Now this is not the most recent, right? The most recent become this one, right? And still this is the A is the least recent and 4 is the most recent. Now perform some other operation. Now I, I want to perform the get operation. I want to get the 2 key, means this one. So it will return the B. But in this way, I use this node, right? The moment I use this node, now most recent become the B node. Because recently I use this node, right? Again, suppose if you do the gate, suppose gate 3. So now this is not the most recent. This 3 become the most recent, right? So in this way, as per the operations, the most recent is going to be change right but thing is that each cache has the capacity so suppose this cache has the capacity maximum it can hold 4 as i know the capacity is 4 now i'm trying to put one new data in this cache 5e but capacity is already full so, which one I have to remove from the cache? We have to remove the least recentry, and in this diagram, A is the least recentry. So, we have to delete this node, make the space for the 5, and the 5 would become here 5, and this is the E, and E will become the most recent data, right? Nothing. So, most recent is the 5. So this is the complete concept and you have to uh, implement the same thing. So as you can see that we are going to store the key and value, right? So when you uh, think about the key and value, automatically in your mind, which data structure used to come? Used to come the map, right? So suppose this is the map. I take one map. Right. So this is my map, hash map. And here I will store the key and here is the value. So suppose first it came the 1 uh, and his value A. Second it comes the 2 value 3. It came right. So it was kind of the put operation 1 A 2 B 3 C and 4 D. This sequence it came. So as you can see that in this diagram, so the recent data we are keeping it here, right? This is the most recent data. Here is the least recent data, right? Now, if I say next operation is coming, get three so what you will do you will give the 
it will come we can get the value of if you do the gate 3 i will get the value c but now you have to make it the most recent so now this should become the most recent so how you can do how you can make the flag that which is the most recent which is the most recent you have the two options either you can add one the flag maintain the two flag that this is the least and this is the most or otherwise simple logic very simple logic that all the website website you keep the most recent and the right side automatically you will give get, you will get the least recent i will tell you why how so suppose again take the same thing same map this is our map First, it is the put 1A, right? Second time, it was the 2B. And third time, suppose I have the gate 2, right? Fourth time, I have put 3C. Let me how it works. So, first time, it will come the 1A. So, this is your left side and this is your right side. So, first, the second is the 2B. But now the moment you put the two, two become the most recent. So we will move this A here and we will keep the two B. Now I have to get the two. So when we get the two, two become the most recent, still it is there because this part is keeping the most recent. Right? No problem. Now put the C3. So what happened? In this diagram, this is the most recent part and it was the least recent part. So now what I will do, I have to put the 3C. So move everything here and put the 3C. So this part will come here, this part will come here and this 3 will come here. Automatically, your 3 become the most recent and A become the this taken because this is the right side right but it is a lot of problem would be there if you handle this kind of the switching inside the map right map is not meant uh, for this kind of the operation so what you will do when you think you have to move the data here there in all those sites so automatically in my mind come into the link list right so link list is made to move here there with the complexity operation o1 right so we will use the link list and what you will do in this link list, we will keep the both value, right? This key and value. And it will connect here, it will connect here, it will connect here, right? Now if you see, suppose you starting you had the 1A, right? Here is the 1A. Then it comes the 2B, right? Now it comes the gate 2. So now this is your left side, this is your right side. So now you this 2 because you are getting the 2, 2 is become the most recent, you have to keep it here. So you have to move, move here, right? You have to keep it here and you have to keep it here. So if you see, if you make this list is the double link list, so your problem will be solved. So then it, it will be easy to move here there, right? Because you have the previous and the uh, next node information. So what I am trying to say, we will use the two data structure. One you will use the map and second you will use the double link list. This two data structure we are going to use that, right. And double link list you know, so first we have to make one class with the node name because each node we have to keep the four things. One is the key, second is the value, and this is the previous node. Would we keep the information for the previous node, right? And this part we keep the information of the next node, right? So four things we have to keep in the node. So key would be the key integer. For the time being, uh, I showed the example values, the uh, alphabet, we can just for the genius. We can make the value also the key. 
and this will take the address of this node. So data type for this part would be the same node. One is the previous and one is the next. These four things we have to keep it, right? So now each node is there, right? Now, tell me explain, uh, let, let me explain you that how the operations would be there for the everything. Okay, the important thing I forgot it. So now, if I want to say the gate three, so how you be search the gate three in the double increase? So better I will keep the map, and in the map, suppose this is the three C. So instead of keeping the direct value, I will keep the address of this node. For the A, I will keep the address of this node. For the B, I will keep the address for the node. So for the map, they have the two information. One is the integer that we keep the have key. This is for the key, and this part is the node, right? Node because this is having the address of the node. So those two things we are going to use in our code. So let me explain that when you do the put, what will happen, and when you do the get, what will happen. As we are going to use the double interest, so what we will do? By default, we will make one two list with the name of left and the right to make the boundary. So all the node will come between the left and right, and whatever the node is immediate next to the left, it become the most recent, right? The next, the next of the left node is the most recent, and the node they become previous of the right node. It become your the least recent. So this is about the logic we are going to implement. That okay? So now suppose right now nothing is there, right? So by default, we will create left and right, and currently it is connected. Here, next is the right, and right previous is the next, right? So now we go and do the put one a. So what we will do? We make one node. They have the one and a, right? This is about the node. So in this case, when you do the put, so in the put, what will you do? If any key and value is coming, the same thing. So I will create first node. So my node is created now, right? And we will insert here. So this we insert here. So now this become the here one a. So you have to follow the method insert this node. That is the put op. That is the put operation. Now the get operation. Suppose I have the many here, right? So I have one. I have suppose six. Uh, P seven Q, so many nodes already there, right? Now I want to get six. So what would be the get method? So get method, I will pass the key. So what it will do? It will search. When you do the insert, that time also we have one map, right? And that map has the integer and the node, and we have name is the map, right? So they here it with the key, and here it with the node. So when you insert the one six seven, so it with the one six and seven, and that node address, right? So now when you ask the get six, it will go the map, take the address, whatever the address for the node. It will come here, right? 
it will return the data the two possibility whether this node is there or not if it is not there if it is return the null this six is not there you can return the minus one but if this node is exist you came here now what you have to do first you return the six then this node should be the now the immediate after the left we have to make this node as the most recent so what you will do is yes to is to that divide this node divide this node and insert so whenever we are insert it always inserting next to left node so it will insert it will delete from here and it will come this side here 6e so it become the most recent one so whenever you have to do that delete and immediate you have to insert that job is done so all the uh, the methods is only this much you have to write the put method get method insert method and the delete method right so let me show you how you do delete in the uh, double ring list and how you add the uh, uh, node in the double ring list so it's easy then you can go to the code uh, you will see the code so suppose here is the first what would be there this is already there left and here is the right this node is already there by default right and i will keep the zero zero because this number is just a dummy number here next means it is already there web dot next is the right during the constructor time i will do that and the right note previous is equal to web to one so this is already there okay now you first you have to insert the one node one a and this box name is the node so what you have to do first you have to take the node next i know the name of this node i know the name of this node i know the name name of this node right so you take it and you have to connect this part here right so what is the name of this one so we know the wrap node and that is the wrap next so node next should be the wrap next now this part is done now you have to make this connection right so i know the wrap so this is the wrap next so put the wrap next i came here and this previous should be this node this two connection done now you have to make this connection right so now wrap next is equal to node and we have to make this connection so node previous is equal to left so automatically this will be disconnected so you can see this new node is connected right so it is always connect with the web because you are taking the reference of the web so whenever you will do the insert method it will connect here only right take one example again suppose uh, now i have to connect the to b see how it work so now this name is the node because this is the new node right node next is equal to wrap to next what is the wrap 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 to next is a so now the this node next would become this node wrap next previous connect this node wrap next this node and the next previous this become so automatically we see it is making this one right this is the way we can write the insert method right now suppose we have so many nodes already right right so make this delete 
I am telling the case when we are doing the gate method call. So suppose this is the one A, two B, and three C. Now you do the gate two. So what should happen? This method should be delete here, and they should be insert here, right? So already we have insert method. Let me do how we can delete. So if you do delete method, it's super easy. You have to delete it. Simple. Move this part here and this part here, right? So what if you do? If you want to delete here, so if this is the node, so this is the node next, and this is the node previous. So you have to make it here, right? So first go node. Previous and this next, so this next is equal to this node. What is this node? Node next. Got it? So this part is connected. Now let me this part. So what is the name of this node? Node next. This previous, this node previous should be this node. What is no name of this node? Node previous, right? So. That's it. So you automatically you did it. Only thing is that whenever you will insert, you have to insert into the map also, right? So map dot put this node key and node because we are searching from the node from the map itself, right? And whenever you will delete, you have to delete from the map also. Remove node. Now the case is there when the capacity is not there, right? So you have to always delete because this node is the always least recent, right? In the cap case of the capacity is full, right? So if map size means map capacity increased by the capacity, so capacity would be given in the starting. So in that case, what you have to do? You have to delete this one. And what is this next? I know the name of this, right? So you have to delete this node previous. So write previous, and that's it. All the functions is done. So let me show you everything in the code, and it will be the easy thing. So just you should know we are going to use the two data structure. One is the map, one is the double increased. You should know how to do the operation. And it will be trick here. We are keeping the two uh, marker left and right as a dummy. So lot of things it will be solved. You no need to check the null and of the increased everything. So and we have the name for this both. So it will be easy to the manipulation. Let me show in the code and it will be very easy for you. So actually this is the questions from the read code uh, 146. So we are going to solve the same questions what I discussed on the whiteboard. So first and foremost we have to create one double increased node right as we discussed and we need key and value and we also need the two node for the left and right purpose right so previous and the next right and we made one uh, constructor so if you want to create the node with predefined data we can do that so this key is equal to key and this value is equal to value, right? Uh, that's it for this one. And what are the things for this class? First, you know, need the left and right node for this, the marking, right? Left side will be the most recent and right side will be the least recent, right? And you need the capacity. So all the cache should have the capacity. And we need also one map, right? So that map would be the key as an integer and value is the node right as you discuss that and keep the name is the map so in the constructor so first we take the capacity from the user so how much capacity should be there and then we have to initialize all the things right so wrapped would be the new node and just put the default value okay and write also should the new node you are not going to use this node, so just, just dummy value. But we have to connect, right? And we have to write connect. So wrapped next should be the right 
and right previous is equal to should be the map as we discussed that right and also this map you have to initialize right so this map is equal to new hash map right same parameter okay uh, first we do uh, making the uh, insertion and division method right then it will be easy so this is the node let me make the method private insert method first right so what you have to check when you insert method you have to do so first you have the name node right so then we have to we have to put after the wrap node so as we discuss on the board node next should be node should be wrapped next right where is the wrap next right now so we make it the this one because you have to insert the node in between and then wrapped next previous you have to make the node right it will connect from the right side not the left side so wrapped next should be the node and node previous should be the left as we discussed there right and for the division so what we have to do it if you want to do it in between so i have given the previous node name is the node previous and right side name is the uh, node next right so then node previous next should be the node next and the node next previous is equal to the node previous and it will divide it right so easy now once you get the two this important method but also while inserting as we discussed that we have to put the data into the map right so node key by which we will search and this node address and while deleting we have to delete from node also right so node key delete now let me implement the put method so the uh, one corner case is that we, they are user are putting the same method that is already exist in that case what you have to do first check those data is already there or not so you can check from the map that if this is there so if temp is not null means this is exist so in that case just go and delete the temp and we have to insert the new node because anyhow the moment you touch any node you have to uh, immediate make after the left side right so insert new node with the new value key and value right inserted but now if you have to check whether map size is bigger than the capacity in that case what i have to do you have to delete the least recent and when you get how you get the least recent the right side node that previous node is the which is sent right done now get method first check whether what user are searching that is there in map or not if not there means if null then immediate return minus one if it is there means if it is the null then we minus one if it is there so what you have to do again you have to make that node in front of the uh, after the wrap node right so delete this node and insert this node and of course you have to return the temp value that's it let me run this code it is accepted Okay, so everything is working 